What's been going on, man? Oh, man. Same old, same old. I mean, yeah. I, I, I wish I could say, like, yeah, I went to New Mexico. The Jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> Well, flew, flew, flew to Greece. The brought two pack two pot back from the dead. I wish uh, I could say. I wish I could say all that, but no. Yep. <clears throat> same old, same old. You can't. Yep. I get it. Yeah. Same old, same old. Nothing. That's what it should be. Nothing here. Uh, nothing new over here. Uh, what about you? What's going on with you? You say you had went out with your mom yesterday. Yeah, we had fucking went to this. I like just tried out these new places and shit. Yeah, went to the soul food restaurant. Uh, closer to. Oh, my cat. She was good as hell. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were just doing a bunch of shit. We just running some oh. errands and stuff. I don't really, oh, I don't really get to spend time with my mom like that. That's good. He ate some grits and cabbage while he was out. Grits and cabbage. Uh, some pork chop, fried pork chops, uh, mashed potatoes, and some collard greens. It was pretty good. You know, I don't really like eating that shit no more. But every now and then, I like to, I like to have it. Yeah, that's good. But well, one day you're going to have to uh, t- take port- pork out your diet. No, no, I don't eat pork. Like, I eat it, Bro, like, that shit on is occasions, so, but I'm yeah. completely cut it off in a that, minute. That shit is so bad for you. You won't believe yeah. it. Like, it's good. Don't get don't get, don't get, get twisted. I'm not saying, like, I'm some perfect uh, food saint. But, uh, yeah, that shit is not good for you, bro. Shit gives you high blood pressure. and give you them fat, big mama jama arms, too. So. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. Bad, big <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like you ain't gotta tell me. You already know. <laughs> yeah, you, my family already got it. Well, some of them do. Uh, it'd be weird. It'd be weird. And I know you. You understand this, like, like to be skinny, but then like all, like all, almost all your family's like fat. Like yeah. I, I don't, I don't be getting that. It, it, I'd be thinking like, damn, I dodged a bullet. But uh, I get, I be thinking like, damn, how are we related? Type shit. Damn, you go that far? <laughs> <laughs> how are we related? Man, I'm related to these fat niggas. I was like, damn. Yeah. Because you know, back in the day, shit, when our parents were growing up, that's like, like how they knew how to eat, basically. Because mm-hmm. our parents learned from their parents and shit, and their parents were like the people that um. Still, like, kind of like fresh slaves, like fresh out of not fresh out of slavery, but just out of <laughs> them Jim Crow laws and all that shit. Which is right. nice area. Yeah, all, all they were eating was like horse and pig and basically any, anything they can get their hands on. Exactly. That shit was just whole. Nasty ass shit, so. it's really not. It's really not that long ago if you think about it. Oh, bro, like, it, it wasn't. Last. Bro, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> It has not been that long, man. Yeah, that's why. I mean, that's that's honestly why, like, our generations kind of like fucked up in a way. Because if you think about it, I mean, if you think about generations, I know it sounds like a long time, but you gotta think about it like this, like, bro. People live lives like I don't know, like lives are not everybody don't. It's like people just be living for like ten years. Motherfuckers be living to like their seventies and shit like that. It's <laughs> lifetime, so you can't expect people to just be changing just like that. Cause a lot of shit that happened, uh, like. In history, uh-huh. really, and none of that shit really happened that long ago. It just seemed like a long time ago because we didn't live it. But a lot of our family members, especially like our parents, they still was living in that shit while it was going on, or like while like maybe like when it just stopped happening. So it's really not that long ago. Uh huh. Really isn't. That's why I like history. Like it just make you think because a lot has happened in the last twenty years. That's why it feels like like uh. Some people might think that history was so long ago. Like some people think like the nineteen like nineteen forties or fifties. I mean, obviously we're talking about cause it, we're talking about how it wasn't that long ago, but some people feel like it's been such a long time since then because of like the internet boom and 
social yeah. media and stuff like that. Because social media and internet and like the fact that you can just look up anything you want on a dime, it really puts like uh history and time in like a place where like bro, we're we're doing things and looking at stuff that our like ancestors have never even seen or experienced before at like a blink of an eye. Mm-hmm. Like it, it separates you from your your like like the uh older generations of your family by a huge mile. Like think about your great 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 grandfather like looking at something like like a like a cute girl on Instagram or like just having just just owning an iPhone. Like it would right. it would blow their mind. They would literally like die cuz they couldn't they can't process so much information. Imagine like your like, think about our slave ancestors seeing like seeing us in like a driving a car. Sure. Like like that's that's like that's insane. Like so much has happened in the last twenty years that you can almost even say that yeah, we, it's like we took like a thousand year leap in about twenty years, uh, twenty ten years. Like that's mm-hmm. that like that's insane. Crazy. Yeah, so that's why it's, it feels like like some people some people might think that history is like old, like like nineteen fifty stuff is old, but like how we're talking about it. it talking about right now it actually has not been that long ago just so Damn. just so much has happened in the last 10 years that's why it, it feels like history of so long ago it, it's not old at all it's actually r- relatively new history history really ain't history until you're talking about like ancient history you know how like like uh china can trace back their history like thousands of years and shit that's history yeah. mm-hmm. the last let's say 100 years ain't, ain't history at all <laughs> What kind of history is that? The only only key point in history in the last hundred years was just the fact of 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 black people transitioning from um uh, God, what's it called? Not 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 out of slavery. What was it called after slavery? It was called uh like Reconstruction or some shit. Reconstruction. Like, I think it's called it's called something like that. It was like reconstruction or something. Basically, it was just it was just like the little period between slavery and being free. Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, it's like re something. I can't think of it, but that's the only thing. And then Jim Crow, the lynchings, and uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, all the other civil rights, civil but black civil rights leaders. Mm-hmm. That's all I can really think of. For I mean, I know there's so much more, but like that's the main ones that really matter, don't you think? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Those are the only things that really matter in the last 100 years. I'll say this. Yeah, been a, changed. yeah. I mean, things are like kind of bad now, but when have things have ever really just been good? Been good. Yeah. I mean, I guess the early 2000s, 90s. <laughs> but uh, besides that, I'll just say, I mean, obviously they had their own problems, you know, with uh, crime and gang stuff. It was really bad back then. And also, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no time in history that things have I've, that just went smooth. It's always been some type of struggle. It just, I don't know. I guess it's just our time. Yeah, because we're always gonna have fucking problems. I mean, no matter what what era, shit's always gonna occur. Yeah, it's gonna be like a era was just just peace because there's always gonna be people that maybe like people that go through bad stuff. Um, they that's like their everyday lives and like that was their parents' everyday lives. So that shit kind of like spilled over into their lives and shit. It's a generational thing. If bad stuff is happening now, nothing is ever ever just gonna like seize it from stopping. So and plus, like if you have a lot of good things going on in life, there's somebody out there that's gonna. They, like, it just has to. They have to be getting screwed over. Like, if you're making money, somebody out there's um, isn't gonna be making money. So it's just no one's no one in this world is ever just gonna be happy like all the time. And so that's never gonna be like a thing that just is gonna stop. So, mm-hmm. That's why it's important to realize where you stand within that. Are you are you one of the people that you? No, nah, I'm not just talking to you. I'm saying in general, but like no, no, it, 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 you know, like it, you have to figure out where you stand. With that, because I mean, that's great knowledge to know that there is good things happening, bad things happening right now as we speak. That's why we have yeah. to, that's why with this great power come great responsibility and making sure whatever that we do, we end up on the side where we want to be at. 
Cause I mean, right. shit. Who wants to be a broke nigga? <laughs> like, who wants to be That's a broke true. nigga? <laughs> like, come on. You obviously gotta like work hard to make some money, so that way you don't ever. Like, I mean, people people can call you a broke nigga. That's fine. But if you consider yourself a broke nigga, that's a problem. But but with <laughs> but, but but with that awareness, is you can work on yourself so that way you just don't you you don't consider yourself a broke nigga. You know, yeah. just an example. But uh, yeah, I mean, things are a lot easier than it really has ever been in uh, in, in multiple different lifetimes in many many years. That's why is you have to really take advantage of it. And the and the main problem with life nowadays, because it's so easy to, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's almost there. Far as being, like easy, because I mean you can look up whatever you need to look up in order to in whatever field that you want to go into, or it's just you can. There's really no excuse. That's what I'm trying to say. But the problem with that is that there's so many distractions with that. The fact that you can do practically whatever you want to do in a given uh second or t- a minute whatever you know it, it slows you down from what you really want to do you get you, you just kind of get caught up on like the just the bullshit yeah because i mean life ain't nothing but a journey right we, we all trying to get somewhere and and, and we get, we're going to re- all reach our destination where we're trying to go but throughout that journey you're going to be distracted by things and that that slows you down so uh, it's just a my point is to just remain focused I and mean, what are you trying to get to d- during this time period where things are more easier than ever yeah because mm-hmm. and also just want to say this i'm wrapping my point uh you know our forefathers had worked their butts off for us to get to this point yeah and, and whether you know it or not because w- the times are a lot easier than ha- it has ever been. Like we're not in no freaking wars and or fucking legs getting blown off, arm blown off, coming back to your coming back to your wife with a with a eye patch. You know, you're, we're you know we're living in pretty good times right now. So, but the reason why we're living in good times because somebody, well, aka your uh, your father, grandfather, your grandfather's father, or they butts off for us to get to this point. And so th- we we can't let them down by just reaping all the good things that they 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 did for us. You know, a lot, like a lot of our slave ancestors that died, lived and died for us to be in a position where we can say we're comfortable. And that's a luxury. So with that, not not to say we can't enjoy it, but we have to work even harder so that way we can continue to keep this up. Because if, if we if we fuck around and. If we fuck around and not do what we supposed to do regarding uh you know with the with the you know using what our using our great stance and where we're at, you know, we, we're just gonna fuck up a lot of shit and we're gonna end up even worse than what our forefathers were. Even worse than slavery. And trust me, it is it, it'll get to that point because like damn, it's like it's literally called fumbling the bag. It's like you're you're born in such great times and you're not making uh any uh any steps toward yeah i mean you have to use what was been given to you you know because a lot of people are ungrateful man you got to use what you have in order to create the reality that you want because now is an easier time than ever yeah and also we i don't know well it's because like we're not living in no times like you're saying like depression or shit like the only thing like we got to worry about is like gas prices and shit inflation really, <laughs> as far as like problems <laughs> But we really do be complaining about shit that really don't even matter. Exactly. It. It's not anything life threatening. It's nothing that is actually like something that's gonna stop us from living in about five years. No, it's usually just like bullshit. Nothing. Like, bro, I'm telling you, that ain't that the truth? Nothing. Like I'm not gonna say nothing matters. Nothing matters. I'm just saying like, like think about it. Nothing matters. Like, like think about something that you that you used to complain about three. Three years ago, two years ago, or even just one year ago, you can't even think about that shit. It's like, damn, things are so things are going so much better that you just don't even think about certain shit. And then, then again, if shit was bad, it's just like you just brush it off. Shit, I, you know, I, I just do what I gotta do. That's why you gotta build that momentum and just keep doing good things and, and uh, good things that you that makes your heart feel good. Cause then, then again, 
you just gonna go back and look at things like, man, I'm so blessed. I don't have to worry about nothing because I mean I'm, I'm working towards what I want, so it's a really good feeling. So, right. shit, bro. Just like on the internet, like all, all the videos you'll see on the internet is just people complaining about <laughs> what they don't have or shit that's not going right for them. And instead of like trying to change it or whatever, they rather just sit back and complain and make it seem like it's a wide, a worldwide issue. Meanwhile, that's probably like the only shit. Not, I'm not gonna say that that's the only thing that they're going through because it's uh-huh. not, yeah, it's yeah. definitely people going there like it's going through the same shit. Yeah, but it's like y'all expect people just be like empathetic of that shit. Y'all feel like people. I guess y'all. I don't know if y'all want people to change it or you bring an awareness to it, but it just seems like a whole bunch of complaining. That's all it really is at the end of the day. It's really just complaining about what people don't have. You get online just to complain. You a sad sack. It, it's just like, man, how can people be like this, man? Like, you, we're living in such a great time. There's so much good out here. And you just get cut off in some, just really some, really some horse shit. <laughs> some bullshit. Like, come on, man. There's, there's, there's someone, there's someone today that was diagnosed with cancer. And they probably won't be able to, to survive for long. You, that makes you think. You know, like, man, I'm so like, blessed. I'm healthy. I, and I'm in a position to not only just be healthy, but I can help others get to a point of being healthy themselves. They're not just, it, it can be physically, spiritually, mentally. Uh, you know, you can, because, I mean, we're all f- to, here to help each other out. That's the reason why we're here. You know, we sort of, we sort of put others above ourselves. But the, the fact of the matter is, it's just a, it's just like you just don't, like man. I just can't understand how people just go through life and not appreciate what what has like uh, transpired in their life for them to even get to a point where they can't even complain. Like, why would you do that? You you've been through everything in your life, and you get to a point where you complain. You know, <laughs> you, you're you're living like you got a heartbeat. You know, you're you're amongst the living. You have a chance to make things better and greater. You have the chance to to affect your environment and your surroundings in a positive way. And you decide to bitch and complain. I, I just I, I just don't understand that. And look, I don't mean to be insensitive because I don't know what people be going through most of the times. And, and I'm just saying, like, I don't know what will make someone go online and complain or, or be a sad sack. But... You know, it just makes you think, like, man, it's just, ugh, it's just so bad. Complain, why is this? Why is that? What is this? You, the reason why you, you had went through where you went through, it is it, so you can learn from all that and make you a better person. That's all it is. Everything bad that ever happened, or well, let me just say, quote unquote, bad, because you know everyone's opinion on on anything is subjective. So I would just say, quote unquote, bad. Because that's how the person may perceive it. But, you know, everything that ever happened in your life was to build you into a, a stronger person. For better or worse. For better or worse. Because uh, there's some bad there's some bad people out here, uh, you know, based off of everything they went through in their lives, they, they make other people's lives hell. And there's other people that went through shit in their lives that make other people's lives like heaven. So, I mean, for better or worse. But I'm looking on the uh, the positive side on it. You know, people that go through a lot of, uh, of let's say, traumatic events in their life. And, you know, turns out they become better people, stronger people, people to, that want to help other people. You know, basically productive members of society. And, 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 the, and, and think about it. What they're led by isn't anything materialistic like they're, they're not doing this for money they're not doing it just for like just things that are material you know they're doing it because it's like a it's their cause is they're doing it for um let's say something that can't be grasped it's not it's not tangible you know they do it because that's their will they're not doing it for a new ferrari they're not doing it for a hundred thousand they're doing it because it's their life and they will, they will literally die for that cause, you know. That that's a more extreme example of what happens uh, in a person's life that, that you know that went through a lot of traumatic events, and it's just simply they just want to make the world a better place uh, based off whatever they went through. Because I mean, I'm sure they don't want any other people to feel like how they felt. That's just my yeah. that's just my example. 
That's true. And but I mean, me, I ain't gonna say that like we can't be like, or we can't use that excuse like, oh, I mean, we, even though you can, you can say this like everybody has it worse than you. Yeah, you could say that, but I don't really like that logic still because think about it. I mean, because what if you like a nigga that got his leg cut off or, or something <laughs> like that? You can't, you can't tell him like, oh, like, oh shit, it could be somebody, somebody life could be harder than yours right now. It's like damn, nigga, like. I get that, but I mean, my leg cut off still. I mean, I, I get that. Like, I get the logic. And in a way, I mean, it kind of does help. Yeah. But I mean, I still don't like that logic because, like you were saying, like, you never know what somebody's going through. It's like, even you though you can justify and be like, well, there's people whose lives, like, kind of yeah. had it worse. That still yeah. could be something that's bad, though. They don't, they don't stop yeah. from what you're going through. It, yeah. It's a, stop it from being bad. But I mean, I don't know. It's just like our generation, and just I think it's I know it's because like we haven't went through any hardships like the past generations. That uh, mm -hmm. that's why everybody feels need to complain about just anything and everything. Uh, but that's honestly that kind of like making us weak as people in general. Yes, it's like, it's like the the thing we were learning last week, or like the <laughs> the thing about the kid that got paid money for that just for having no friends or whatever. I mean. I get it, like having no friends or whatever. That that is like it, it does suck, especially when you're a kid, because that's what being a kid is. You're supposed to be able to enjoy that time, cause shit. When you get it, when you turn to adult, you are gonna hate that or not hate it, but it's just, it's just, it's not. It's just a lot of responsibility you are gonna have to take in. So, uh, yes, like I get it, but I mean, at the end of the day, people sitting here like giving him money and shit like that, just because he didn't have any friends. I mean, like, he don't have any friends. Yes, that we get that. But, I mean, what is money going to do? He's still not going to have any friends. Uh, and it's like you could have better, you could have spent that money on some other shit if you were, gonna, if you were that willing, if you're all that willing to to give it out. Because like we were saying, like, there's niggas out there that, that have cancer as we speak, and they're dying. They, yeah. they had that money because they probably can't get that surgery. They probably would live if they had the money for that surgery or something. But no, no one, nobody really gives a fuck about that. We just... We care about shit that's not important, like a nigga not having friends, a nigga that's hasn't lost his virginity, a nigga that that um don't have a car, like shit like that. Like uh, all, all I've been seeing recently is people that post on the internet talking so, oh, I'm 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 thirty, I'm twenty years old, and I don't have any friends. Nigga, you shouldn't be worried about friends right now, honestly. That's such a it's lame response. Is that and but it's not even, it's not even like the only it's like a like it's just a trend now. People are posting like, oh, I'm I'm twenty one, I'm thirty six, and I don't I don't have any friends. Uh, I have no goals or ambition. Oh, I haven't seen nothing like that, but it's just it's just in that that range or whatever. And it's like instead of complaining about the shit on the internet, why don't you go find people that you could be friends with? And it's like a lot of times, oh, I have social anxiety. Then step out, step outside your comfort zone. How hard is it? See, it can't be that hard. And, and let me add on to that, Keyshawn. So like when, when someone goes like out and says like uh like on on social media, they say like I don't have any friends or I'm like I'm like I said I'm, I'm like I said 20 years old 21 years old I ain't got no friends 22 I ain't got no friends and what kind of response are you looking to get from that and, and, and see and see even if you did get a friend you get a friend that feels bad for you I, I'm I, look, look I'm gonna be his friend because he ain't had no friends you know how sad that is that's sad that's sad that's true. Like you, you're 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 putting out an energy. You're putting out a pitiful energy. Now, how would that be reciprocated? Oh, uh, let me let me give him. I'm gonna be his friend because I feel bad for him. You, this ain't a friend. They like like if you like let's say let's say let's say someone says like oh I ain't got no friend. I'm 25. I ain't got no friends. And, and like a guy reaches out like oh I'll be your friend. You know, pitiful friend energy. And, and they go out and stuff like that. They they they'll keep their distance because like you know I'm only with him because he doesn't have any friends. I'm just being a nice guy and helping him out because he he don't have anybody else. That's not really a friend. That's more so of like a I just feel bad for you. Now a real gen like you you're not even trying. That, look, look I just even I just went deeper. <clears throat> I just went deeper. Now I see why you don't have no friends at 21, 25 years old. You're going on social media, bitching and complaining. You don't have any. You're not even making, you're not even putting no forth sense. that. Exactly. You're not even putting forth any effort into gaining a friend. And then again, you don't gain a friend by looking for friends. 
You may, you may, but that's not the right way to look for friends, in my opinion. The only, the best way to look for friends is literally just go and be in a field, be in a field or or a group that like uh, sparks your passion. Like for like, let's say that like you someone wants to be a doctor, and 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 you go into like the medical field, you meet friends there because you're y'all all passionate about being a you know a doctor and you want to help people out mm-hmm. and make sure people are healthy that's where you can meet really good friends that not you don't meet a friend or gain a best friend let's say in a more extreme example by bitching and complaining that you're 25 years old and don't have any friends and think about it like like if someone wants to even ask like ask y'all like like <laughs> how did y'all meet you know, like, how, how did y'all feel? Like, well, I had saw his post. He says 25 and I didn't have any friends. So, I was like, I'll be his friend. Yeah, I'll be his friend. It's, it's just so sad sack. It's so buying a sausage. I don't get it. It's like, you don't feel bad about that? Or you don't feel... Somebody said, you don't feel guilt. Like, oh, damn. I Ugh. Guilt. You, 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 you worm. Like, how, how can you even, like, ugh. Like you complain, twenty three years old complain ain't got no friends. You should be running a fucking sack up, and you you basically complain about some friends. Like, what exactly. are y'all, what are y'all gonna do? What's gonna happen if you become friends with somebody? All you are gonna do is just gonna basically complain to that friend, that one friend that tried to be your friend. Shit, it's just ugh. Fuck, it just made me sick, man. That's why. That's what. That's what gives me passion, Keyshawn. And James, also, if you listen, that's what gives me passion. Seeing, seeing this sick ass shit, it's like, damn, people are really living like this. <laughs> Let me flip the damn table, bro. <laughs> this shit is sad. But uh, Keyshawn, what do you think about that, man? Like, what, like, what do you be thinking about? What be going through your head when you be seeing the, these sad ass posts? And and, oh, and God forbid you look at another one. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even click on shit because I'm just like, bro, <laughs> it's it's never, it can't be that bad because if you. Honestly, so you have the courage to get on the internet and tell the whole world <laughs> business about you don't have any friends. You don't have the, the audacity or you don't have like the, the wherewithal or the strength to get up and get your ass off the couch or get your ass out the house. Yes. But you know that's what they're doing all day because they that comfortable to be recording shit in their house. Why don't you go, like you were saying, go to like a field or why don't you go do something like a hobby or something where you can actually meet people? That you already know that you'll have some sort of connection with because you are doing the same activity. Like what? Yeah, you, you common know, sense, you right? Know where to meet these people. It, I think it's just honestly. I think since it's like a trend, and it is an easy trend because like these people be having like a million, like they be having like a million views and shit like that. So it's just become like, like a constant trend, like same title and everything. It's like oh, I'm I'm 21. I don't have any friends, or I'm I'm 36 and. I I haven't met anyone. I haven't ever met any friends. And, 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 who, who, and whose fault? And whose fault is that? Exactly. Whose fault? Is is it other people's fault? They don't want to be friends with you? Sad sack? Come on. <laughs> I just don't get that shit. It, it's so it's so selfish. Like you're not even putting forth any effort. You just bitch complain about what what's not going right for you. 